Before Elon Musk was embroiled in controversies over Twitter, he was deeply immersed in crafting the vehicle of tomorrow, the Tesla Cybertruck. With its cyberpunk-inspired design, this futuristic marvel rolled out of the Tesla factory, turning heads and sparking debates. Detractors may dismiss it as a relic of a bygone era's vision of the future, or criticize its purported lack of safety due to its sharp edges and unconventional design for a pickup truck. Yet, beneath the surface, the Cybertruck boasts a plethora of groundbreaking innovations. Elon Musk, the visionary behind Tesla, had once set ambitious goals, including the colonization of Mars by 2021. One such innovation was the windshield wiper, for which Tesla patented two revolutionary concepts a horizontal-only electromagnetic wiper, and another based on laser technology. However, when release day arrived, what greeted consumers was a conventional wiper, prompting both disappointment and speculation. Elon Musk once again pushed the boundaries of innovation with the Tesla Cybertruck, introducing the concept of an exoskeleton body. This groundbreaking design involved casting the truck as one cohesive unit with the side panels and other components integrated into the vehicle's structural framework. Unlike traditional vehicles that rely on hanging panels on a unibody frame, the Cybertruck's exoskeleton offered a more robust and lightweight structure, a crucial advantage for large electric pickups. However, despite the initial buzz surrounding this innovative approach, Tesla eventually abandoned the idea and reverted to a more conventional unibody design. Throttle House's review highlights the issues with the Tesla Cybertruck, which paints a concerning picture of the vehicle's performance and quality. For starters, the headlights were found to be misaligned, posing a risk of blinding oncoming drivers instead of illuminating the road ahead. Additionally, the rear camera malfunctioning at night could hinder visibility and compromise safety. Furthermore, the review revealed other troubling aspects of the Cybertruck's design and construction. The vibrations experienced when closing the door indicate potential structural issues, while the driver's compromised field of view raises serious safety concerns. The interior quality was criticized for feeling cheap and creaky, contributing to a less than pleasant driving experience. In addition to these issues, the ride was described as bumpy, detracting from overall comfort and performance. The absence of gauges on the dashboard and stalks on the wheel further adds to the inconvenience, requiring drivers to divert their attention to the touchscreen for essential information constantly. And then there's the peculiar vegetable peeler feature, adding a touch of absurdity to the mix. All of these shortcomings come at a significant cost, with the base model priced at $40,000 in Tesla currency, which translates to a hefty $61,000 in US dollars. The unexpected price increase of 52.5% or $21,000 only adds insult to injury, leaving potential buyers questioning the Cybertruck's value proposition. Elon Musk's expertise in manufacturing was on full display during the 2023 third quarter investor call, showcasing his deep understanding of the intricacies involved. However, when it comes to the size of vehicles, particularly pickup trucks like the Cybertruck, there's a tendency for some models to be excessively large. Take, for instance, the Ford F-150, a favorite among certain demographics, often associated with a certain image. This version, known as the Super Crew 5.5 Raptor, seems tailored for divorced, middle-aged men aiming for a rugged persona akin to a modern-day Clint Eastwood, albeit with questionable success. The sheer size of trucks like the F-150 which are already seen as unnecessarily large in many parts of the world, can be staggering. They often attract attention, albeit not always positive, and may even evoke certain stereotypes about their drivers. However, the Cybertruck takes things to another level entirely. At a whopping 2.2 meters wide, it surpasses the dimensions of even the largest pickup trucks, making it a veritable behemoth on the road. The Cybertruck's massive size doesn't necessarily translate into abundant storage space, much to the surprise of many prospective buyers. In fact, its capacity falls short of expectations, with limited room even for items as basic as a regular-sized bicycle. It's a curious situation when a pickup truck of such proportion struggles to accommodate everyday cargo, reminiscent of a micro-truck rather than a robust utility vehicle. The disparity becomes even more apparent when comparing its bed size to that of vehicles like the Subaru Sambar, a micro-truck by comparison, highlighting the Cybertruck's underwhelming storage capabilities. Moreover, 
the Cybertruck's performance in terms of range leaves much to be desired. Despite claims of impressive mileage, real-world testing by experts like those at Throttle House revealed a different reality. Their journey, albeit advantageous in terms of terrain, yielded a range of 462 km on a full charge. This figure falls short of the advertised 515 km range by 53 km and pales in comparison to Elon Musk's initial promise of 884 km or 500 miles. Also, have you ever wondered why we don't build cars with untreated stainless steel exteriors? Would you like to guess why we put multiple protective layers on the metal panels covering our vehicles? Is it just for fun, or is there something outside the showroom that warrants such protective layers? With all its futuristic innovations, it seems that even the mighty Cybertruck is not immune to the age-old nemesis of vehicles. Rust, despite its titanium-infused exoskeleton and space-age design, it turns out that weathering the elements is a challenge even for this behemoth of modern engineering. In an unexpected twist, the official manual for the Cybertruck offers a laundry list of precautions to prevent rust from tarnishing its sleek exterior. From bird droppings to tree sap, grease, oil, and even dead insects, any residue left unchecked could mar the Cybertruck's pristine surface. And it doesn't stop there. The manual advises against using hot water during washing, as it could lead to further staining. Certain car shampoos are also off-limits, as they pose a risk of staining the car as well. If that isn't enough, washing the Cybertruck in direct sunlight is also discouraged, as it could potentially result in staining. It's a peculiar set of instructions for a vehicle marketed as the epitome of durability and resilience. One would think that a truck designed to withstand the rigors of everyday life would be impervious to such mundane concerns. Yet, it appears that even the Cybertruck must contend with the realities of maintenance and upkeep in the face of nature's elements. Unsurprisingly, multiple Cybertruck owners began reporting rusty stains on their vehicles almost immediately, some after just 11 days. But hey, thankfully Tesla can put a protective layer on your Cybertruck after all. The Cybertruck has indeed captured the imagination of many. But before you rush to place your order, there are some sobering realities to consider. First and foremost, brace yourself for a lengthy wait time. The backlog is substantial, with a staggering 2 million people reportedly putting down deposits for the Cybertruck and Tesla's current production rate, hovering around 150,000 units per year. In fact, if production were to remain at this pace, prospective buyers could be looking at a wait time of around 13 years before getting their hands on one. Elon Musk has hinted at ramping up production to a maximum of 250,000 units per year. But even with this increase, the wait time for those placing orders today would still be significant, at around eight years. Beyond the logistical challenges, there are deeper questions about Cybertruck's appeal and target demographic. While some may be drawn to its unconventional design and futuristic features, others have criticized its appearance as extremely stupid and questioned its practicality. Indeed, amidst the ridicule and skepticism, one fundamental question remains. Who is the Cybertruck really for? Unlike the Peugeot 308, designed for everyday commuters, or the Cadillac Escalade, often associated with luxury and status, Cybertruck's target consumer group is less clear-cut. Is it aimed at tech enthusiasts looking for the latest innovations, off-road adventurers seeking rugged durability, or perhaps eco-conscious consumers are drawn to its electric powertrain. One of the most glaring issues with the Cybertruck is its lack of practicality. Despite its hefty price tag, it falls short in terms of storage space and convenience. While appealing to some, the futuristic aesthetic has been criticized for its sharp angles and hazardous design elements. And let's not forget the infamous butthole base camp accessory, which seems more like a punchline than a practical addition. However, perhaps the most concerning aspect of Cybertruck is its underlying ideology. Positioned as a doomsday vehicle for the affluent and tech-savvy, it embodies a dystopian vision of the future where the wealthy dominate and the rest are left behind. Musk's assertion that the Cybertruck is designed to win in any confrontation on the road reinforces this troubling narrative. In the end, the Cybertruck serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked ambition and blind devotion. As consumers grapple with buyer's remorse and Tesla fanboys struggle to defend their investment, it's clear that the allure of innovation can sometimes lead us down the wrong path. The future of transportation may be electric, but if the Cybertruck is any indication, 
It's also fraught with challenges and uncertainties. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.